Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here, playing Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, continuing with the full game S-Rank walkthrough. This is episode 7, Red Brass, and for this mission, we're going to actually be going in near the kind of top of the map there, uh, right above the road. This is going to give us kind of the, the best access to the roads we'll need to use. I recommend using D-Horse as we will be riding him through a majority of this area, and he's pretty quick to get around, pretty nimble, so I recommend him. Now, once we do spawn in, I'm going to mark some things on the map. The first point I'm going to mark is where you want to park D-Horse. And that's where one of the first cars is going to come by. And he'll actually stop when he sees D-Horse in the road. And once he stops, you can take out all three guys in the car. Basically, in case you were wondering, the objective of this mission is to do whatever you want to do to all three of the commanders uh, in this mission. So I'm going to be extracting all three of them. You can also just kill all three of them. If you plant like a C4 in the area they all meet, you can actually blow up the C4 from a distance, killing all three of the commanders, only the commanders, and then you can actually just run out of the mission and uh, finish it that way, which is pretty easy. So as you can see, I'm going to leave D-Horse in the middle of the road. There's a few other things I could have done. I could have left a box in the road. I could have left a decoy in the road. Or I could have just left an explosive in the road and killed all of them. But because I want to extract them because they're pretty high ranks and pretty useful for me. Uh, once they come up, I'm going to shoot all three of them. Shooting the driver first so they don't drive off. And then the other guys. Now, in the interest of speed, I'm only going to take the main commander guy. I was going to do a different method, but I ended up not being able to do it for speed reasons. Um, but I could have taken the car and the other two dudes if I wanted to. I decided not to in, uh, like I said, in the spirit of saving some uh, seconds off my time. Now I'm going towards that middle big base that I mentioned. There's a small base that will be coming by here in just a second, so we're going to use the cliffside so we don't get noticed. Feel free to ride on the side of your horse if you so desire, but it's not necessary if we are coming up on the side cliffs here. Now once we make our way into the village, there is one building kind of in the middle by the street. Uh, it's a small hut with two doors, one on the side and one in the back. And in that building is where your other commander will be. For whatever reason, he was kind of wandering a little bit in my playthrough and he's not he wasn't where he usually is. So you'll see me kind of wander around just a little bit before I do notice him. I am playing in the daytime here, so the enemy has a good sight line on me. But luckily, uh, the enemies are pretty scattered and there there are a lot of buildings to use as uh, kind of cover from when you're going from area to area. There's also a small ditch of like water or a stream on the side as well. So we're coming into the base and I've marked that B position is where the other commander usually is. The commander is no noticed as the guy with the red beret on his head. And that's the guy you're going to want to get. Now, he's usually inside of a building. He's usually in one of these two buildings that I enter first, but for whatever reason, he wasn't in them. And eventually, I did a little bit of a loop and he ended up just like randomly appearing from a building that I was already in, which was weird. But if you kill him inside of a building, make sure you pick him up and bring him outside to extract him. Uh, obviously, you need to have a clear sky to extract him. Now, he's usually in one of these two buildings, the one on the right or the one that I'm about to enter. For whatever reason, he wasn't. And uh, that was unfortunate, so I'm just going to keep kind of circling just for a minute or two. And if you listen closely to the audio, you'll actually hear a second car coming in. And that car that comes into the city carries the other commander. Now, if you're very, very, very quick in this area with this commander, you can actually get the commander, extract him, and then catch that second car before it comes into the city. I end up getting this commander... And because it took me a little bit of wandering around here, um, I actually, uh, the, the car with the other commander was already uh, in the city by the time I took out that commander. Hopefully that made sense. I think it did. Um, but because, like I was saying, and then this guy, watch out, he can, he can see you. And if you don't have a good shot, you'll miss that and uh, have a combat alert. But like I was saying, um, you'll get the second commander in here in one of these buildings. You'll finally find him once he does decide to appear randomly. And there is a third commander in a car coming into the city from the other way that we entered. And you can either do the same thing you did to the first car, which is try to intersect him in the road before he comes to the village. Or you can just wait till he gets out of his car at the village, shoot him, and then extract him in the same way you would any other person. 
Now at the end, what I recommend is calling in D Horse, which is the buddy I do recommend for this one, and just riding off into the out of the hot zone. You can call a chopper and be exfiltrated, but it's actually a lot faster if you just take D Horse and keep riding outside of the mission parameters, and you'll save a lot of time and get way more score that way. Uh, again, you can call in a, a chopper and get exfiltrated that way if you're interested. Hopefully that was uh, useful and made sense to you guys. Again, I will be calling in a chopper, but I end up just riding my horse off into the, uh, the distance in order to finish the level. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I do see you in the next video for Episode 8, Occupational Forces. I'll see you then. Peace! Tell stories about this one, boss.